In the early 1980s, Philip Syracusa had a near-death experience that we covered on this channel in a previous video. But in this video, he discusses seeing the angel from his near-death experience throughout the rest of his life. If you haven't heard his entire story, click the link in the description. This is Philip's story of his guardian angel from the other side. In 1981, I had a near-death experience. And I remember the garden and the landscape in heaven that was like no other. But the most significant thing that happened to me was this angelic being. She had long blonde hair, crystal blue eyes, no wings. And as she was drifting towards me, I felt her energy, her vibration of love, her, her essence of the true meaning of pureness. And she's somehow pulling me through these fields, through a vibrational energy, not by hand, and showing me around. And the garden and everything is just immense, beautiful, and bliss. She bring me to my grandparents, which are, were deceased at the time, and she slowly faded away, this angelic being. When I met my grandparents and my grandfather, who I never met in the physical realm, that was a restoration of my journey of We Go On. A year later, at the age of 15 years old in the physical world, I remember being in the backyard in Staten Island, New York, of my parents' home on a nice day, and I, through my mind, was asking God if I was really at your home, please give me a sign. The next day came around, a beautiful summer day, and my mom says to my brothers and my sisters, let's go for a long walk. Um, we lived on a, a very big street, and I remember about a half a block up, two blocks up, I felt this energy to the right side of me. And it was the angelic being when I turned around from heaven. And I was ecstatic and I was uncertain if I was actually seeing what I was seeing and I felt the love that I felt in heaven by looking at her. And I, I, I remember asking my mom and my brothers, do you see her? Do you see her? But my older sister was able when they were not. And she seen her. And this angelic being had on a color shirt with flowers on it and blue jeans. And she looked the looked like the part of a physical appearance, just like us. And she's talking to me through some telepathic way saying, I'm watching you, silly. It's okay. I'll be here for you. I'll be waiting when you come back. And she faded away, as she did in heaven. A few years later, in a dream state, she came through and reassured me of her presence within the physical realms through the dream, that she was real. A few years went by, and I always would think, is it possible, is it possible that this if it wasn't for my older sister to have seen her, I wouldn't believe it. And I remember talking to her at that point in time and questioning and she seen her, but she didn't know from where she, that recognizing of this person, this young girl. I'm 54 years old. At the age of 51, um, I was having self doubt and some issues within the physical realm. And once again, she appeared. She appeared in a dream state to reassure me of my life journey, and she also reassured me everything would be fine. I woke up the next morning feeling vibrant as if my soul's energy was restored. The love that I felt from this angelic being and the pureness is like no other that I can describe. This was a miracle. This is a miracle from the fields of heaven. To the listener out there, I promise you that all things are possible. And believe, have faith, and trust within yourself. And ask for guidance from the other side. And sometimes you'd be surprised 
on the miracles and messages that come th that come through. Um, it's amazing. Thank you everyone for watching this. That's it for today's video. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel as that helps us get more of these stories out in this format for more interested viewers. To watch this interview in its entirety, visit the link in the description. Let us know what you think of today's video in the comments below, and we'll see you in the next one.